Act. But first, to Chief National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Uh, she served for a long time as Jerusalem correspondent, and she interviewed the founder of Hamas and put together a history of the group for us that uh, is very helpful. Hi, Jennifer. Good to have you with us. Hi, Hi Martha. Thank you. Hamas was founded in 1987 by Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, a Palestinian cleric whose family were refugees in Gaza as a result of the 1948 war following the creation of Israel. Sheikh Yassin spent his early life in Cairo exposed to the Muslim Brotherhood. To stop the Oslo peace talks, Hamas began carrying out a series of suicide bombings beginning in April 1993. In 1997, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sent the Mossad to assassinate Hamas leader Khalid Mashal in Jordan. The attempt was botched, and as part of the deal, Netanyahu had to send the antidote to Jordan to save Mashal's life and release Sheikh Yassin, who was being held in an Israeli prison, back to Gaza. Khalid Mashal is currently living in Qatar and travels frequently to Iran. In 2004, I interviewed Sheikh Yassin in Gaza after the Iraq war began. Are you calling for jihad against American troops? I gave a fatwa to resist the Americans in Iraq. I gave a fatwa to fight Americans if the Americans enter Iraq. Then it is legal and right to fight the Americans if they are on Iraqi land. Israel assassinated the wheelchair-bound Sheikh Yassin a few months later as he was leaving a mosque in Gaza. In 2005, Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon ordered the IDF to evacuate all Jewish settlers and settlements from Gaza. Twelve days later, after the pullout was complete, Hamas began firing rockets into Israel. A year later, after the U.S. encouraged the Palestinians to hold elections, Hamas won in a landslide in Gaza in 2006. The group violently took control, in some cases throwing the leaders of the Palestinian Authority off rooftops in Gaza. Its current military leader of Hamas in Gaza, Yehia Sinwar, was released from an Israeli prison during a prisoner swap for the Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit in 2011. He was treated in an Israeli hospital for a brain tumor, his life saved by an Israeli doctor. Martha? Extraordinary uh, story. Thank you very much. Jennifer Griffin been covering it for years for us, and we're grateful for it. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-host Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.